so jupyter notebook say okay you can have a code in me and you can when you enter it you at the same notebook right for example if you see i just enter it i can see my count here right now other as what i have to do i have to go in my ide i have to write my whole code here if you see this is my whole code it's the same query which i'm taking from jupyter what is this this is a production is it yeah i have a ide it's not a production it's a development environment but you can say that so okay Mm -hmm. So this is connected to your uh, IBM cloud, is it? Yeah, it's connected to my IBM. Those projects you just showed me. So this is you make the changes here based on that. Those three projects uh, you just showed on your cloud. No, uh, like uh, it's a different way. Like it's uh, definitely it's in running on a cloud, but they have a different different project. I cannot show you all, but it just it's nothing. I have something secret. So this one is not so much. So it is like I have to write my code here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you write the code there and. where does that uh, reflect so it will reflect into my cos actually here sorry into cos co cloud object storage okay okay let me so any give changes you, you okay so no actually it's not work like that let me okay so let me tell you some brief idea so what actually happening in a uh, we have ibm cloud right so for running my this thing first i need make to some changes so that changes go to in my github account okay in my github you might be heard about github right git and git repository so first i need to update my things in git once my git will update it okay here if you see i have master means my production so i can only change in my dev environment okay until my dev is not good i cannot go with the master and testing so here i do some changes see i did some four hours some some changes here i did so this changes once i did i need to run a pipeline and this whole pipeline you know on ibm cloud if you see it says it's a thing it's a if you see it here it is okay so it's on my ibm cloud whatever i showed it's a ibm cloud just give me the server thing and all, all those things platform it give okay i have lot of like we have lot of pipelines actually. okay can you just no no can you just uh, open that notepad and i'm a little confused now uh, just to can you I draw can like a process floor okay it's my project so it will be vary from different let me show it so what is actually happening see no just how just actually, yeah so your jup jupiter how is jupiter notebook uh, linked to your uh, uh, production uh, something you just showed there et is it it you. or something jupiter so your start and end point so maybe that will help me understand it so let's say you have you are starting on some project now see actually jupiter notebook is we use for testing because okay okay this yes. whole query i cannot test at the same time in here in my particular code i cannot test it right how can i test Correct, it here in production so, yes 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 I you have to test. do the test yes so right so what is actually happening i have ibm cloud let me write in everything so i have a ibm cloud in or you have aw something in ibm cloud we install jupyter notebook in ibm cloud we install jupyter let me show you how we install it so oh, if you see okay. we have a database so just now you see in aws is written like sage maker right or you see aws lambda right okay. and then you see s3 storage Right, these things you see in AWS. The same way we have called data mains platform, like a SageMaker. We call a data main. It is an IBM cloud, and that is an AWS cloud. See, cloud is very big thing. Okay, like they have so many resources. So it depend what resources we are using it. Okay, for that particular because you are not using all the resources of that particular cloud. So we have a data main. Now in this data main, whatever I do a code changes, it will I need CI CD. What is CI CD? CCID means continuous input and continuous deployment. Means at the same project, if 500 people are working, so there is no conflict will come in a particular pipeline. So even if I the push the code or some another colleague will be push my code, it will no conflict will come. Okay, otherwise what happen if I push a code and CCID is not there, means continuous deployment, continuous development is not there. So what happen? My code and their code will be overwrite and it will not work properly. Let me show you how it is done. Okay. I will not show my project, everyone. Let me show you too. So now you see, this is my data maze. No, even if you even if you show me a project, I won't understand. So no problem. It's no, no. It just I may not show it because because of uh, because we we this confidential. Is correct, not, correct. Understood. This project is sixty yes. six years old. This okay. is uh, yeah. So it is previously on mainframe. While I joined IBM, this is the first project of IBM which coming into a cloud. This is the first project. Okay, okay. So everybody uh, works on this every continuous thing, like okay. Yeah. So and I'm the uh, and we working on IBM uh, core IBM company. Like I'm we don't have any clients and all. So mm -hmm. I'm chief information officer department, which only deal with the IBM internal things. So this data maze you cannot see anywhere. 
even not even uh, outsourcing like for example you are an outer company you want to use ibm cloud you will get ibm cloud but you cannot see the data maze because data maze is only okay. using for ibm people. we are still IBM like working on it, yes. uh, only those who are working core ibm like we have three departments ibm ibm research lab those who are working r d then we have cio then we have gbs and GBS have two departments. So CIC is called consulting department. So for example, your company is taking some employees from IBM. So they will support you. They will assist you in, if for example, you have AWS. So they will provide you the AWS people. So a GBS do that thing. But we actually make our own things. Like we work on the particular internal projects. Now you see, we have called hybrid cloud portal of our big data service. The same way AWS also have. Okay, they call cluster city. Okay, Kubernetes and all. So here, if you see, these are my two projects are running. Okay, there is dev environment and test environment. If I click on pipelines, so just now I showed you JLIW workflow, right? This is my GitHub repository. It is running on my cloud, but in this data mesh platform. Now you see JLIW workflow dev environment, and it is running on this particular environment, this particular IP address something. So if I click it here, I can create my own pipeline as well. So now you see, this is the last pipeline. Sorry, but just tell me exactly what is a pipeline again? See, pipeline is like uh, while you're making a project, right? So you need a platform, like to running a particular repository, we need a pipeline. The connections pipeline or something, is, is it? Connections, it's a kind of word you can say. So okay. for integration your project in a cloud, right? We need a pipeline for it. Okay, okay. Like okay. API, something so, like that, is it? Yeah, for example, I, I create as an API, right? So the API will be in okay. different. It might be on AWS. And I need to call in my Amazon uh, in IBM mm -hmm. Cloud. So how I call it, I need to connect with, I make a pipeline for it, right? I need to connect server ID, host ID. Uh, for example, I have Paytm. I need to connect with the Paytm, right? For payment link. So Paytm is a different, completely different platform. And it, they might be running on different cloud or something different, right? And I'm running on a different something. But I need Paytm okay. things, right? In my particular system. So for that, I need to create a pipeline for it, right? How I can get the data from the Paytm. So my things will work. So there are a lot of projects are working in this. If you see, there are a lot of projects working in different, different pipelines. Now, okay, so me... this is all created by you, is it? Not me. Other teams or different, well. different uh, engineers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have, we have a lot of works. Okay. So in dev environment, if you see, we have two environments. One in dev and one is test. Prod, I cannot uh, go with the prod. Okay, prod only my team leader can have the condition. I, I don't have the credential of prod. Okay, if you see my role of here for test environment, I can only view only for the test environment. But for okay. uh, dev environment, I have the admin. Okay, so for dev, I can do anything. But for test, I can, because definitely, right? As, as I'm coder, so I cannot mess up with the things, right? So that is why I only have test, I can view it if I can find any issues. But prod, I don't have even view and admin portal for the prod. Okay, now let me go one more dash. And this all things are in IBM Cloud. Okay, so IBM Cloud is running it here. Like this data is also running under the IBM Cloud. It's not something different but it's just running inside but the database IBM. is not part of ibm it's separate different is it okay ibm no, data maze it is same thing it's okay, a okay, part of not... ibm yeah i told you know okay. this is just like aws has amazon sage maker so for example okay, okay. you don't want this whole thing you just want to work only sage maker so you have to pay only sage maker things you don't have to pay for ec2 Correct. and these rds you don't have okay. to pay for it Okay, so like this it is actually. So now you see. So which, if, which okay. one of the AWS are you using now for your? Uh, from we are that not whole using it. List you just showed? Okay, we, only we only not. IBM Cloud everything. We use well, means in CIO we cannot use other resources. Okay, we just only mm -hmm. use uh, IBM things in CIO. Okay. And then we have this Spark projects and then we have accounts. So let me show you what it is and let me show you the account as well. So in my account, okay, I don't have create any accounts and then I have DB2. So DB2 is a very similar like a MySQL. So we use DB2 as well. Okay, DB2 warehouse. We are not using some another uh, database system. So now you see this is how it looks like if I click on IBM uh, data maze. So it will connect to my particular mail ID. I don't have to write any credentials. And here it is my CCID pipeline, which is called continuous employee input and deployment things. This thing will happen whenever I push my code into this JLIW workflow repository. It will come to my data maze things. I can test in my pipeline that it is working or not. The result I can test it two ways. Now, once here will done, then I will go to my Airflow DAG. Okay. Now you will ask DAG. So DAG is something called dynamically a graphic uh, dynamically a cyclic graph okay what is it is so airflow is kind of, of okay okay so might be you work on so any is this outside okay so this is not ibm uh, owned right it's different 
Yeah, it's not IBM owned, but we used it, right? So that's it. What is this used for? Sorry, again. Get... So we use for uh, our particular each like particular Python programming. So whatever we code do, right? Once our deployment done, okay. Once our here it shows pipeline is done, right? It means my code is pushed to in the cloud, right? So now I want to okay. test it, right? I want to test in my oh, data. So this because... is your test, test one. Okay, okay. Huh. Because I need to test my result, right? So see whatever I'm but testing. But you, you cannot use that Jupyter thing to test. I will tell. I will tell how Jupyter. To, Jupyter comes later. I'm just telling okay. how it is work. So it's an application. So we are not using any web application or something. I need to create everything, okay. and it's a complete database thing. Okay, we are not using any web or something called or UI. Nothing. We are not doing that. Okay, it's a complete core data things we are working. So because we working on now IBM data. So I created this like not me. The whole team created a data respect thing. Okay, so we have a DB two warehouse so we have this db2 warehouse so whatever i push my code changes i need how many, to work how on many this. Uh, tools do you have to change okay so we working on this db2 warehouse so let me tell you just okay. give, give you brief information so db2 is our main thing and then we have a mainframe so from mainframe we taking a data like we whatever the data we required from mainframe we take a data and we make a code changes and we push the code in our jail means in our project and to check over that particular uh, code right to test it that it is working or not we need to run this first this dag without dag we cannot implement our things for example if i go with the logs any logs so let me show you this log in this log what is actually happening it is storing a data from a different source system so if i go to here i go to on logs and then i can test it that whether it is successful or not so here it says okay it's running and then we have sensor log in sensor log i can find out any error is there or not in my code so if any error will find out in my code i need to go back again in my ide and fix it okay otherwise it will not run the other line okay because i'm working in python so if you see here everything is running right you working on ibm cloud this is your particular spark directory this is particular here your code will run every information it will give okay while what is my code is working also he will give the whatever the sql code i run so what is working in the sql code in which path it will store it everything it will give me okay this particular airflow tag and if any issue will come i will get the from here as well what issue in my particular code any credential issue or any something because there is a huge project right so once this will completed i can first go to verify the result into my cost so if you see the last cost i run it here in this particular yesterday so if you see for example i am using this my cost there are a lot of data so yeah so 5-3-2003 at this time the data is updated how it is updated because of my airflow dag degree how airflow dag i trigger first i need to do the modification in the code here now how jupyter things will come okay now tell me so the modification i did i cannot test it directly right i cannot go and check the directly my data how i need to i need the day i need this cost right some previous data i already have so i need to test it so i go to in my jupyter notebook let me show you how Jupyter notebook I can make it. So I go to data maze. In data maze, I click on get started. I click on login. 